sound, smell and touch. Using textured fabric and household items, an arts and crafts session has begun. Aimed at the visually impaired, it's a chance to escape and let creativity flow. One graduate's simple idea is now a social enterprise. It's basically um, just a way of showing them, and like Will has shown me, showing them, how working with different materials and textures and fabrics and you know how all these can indicate different senses and then sort of just like looking at things a little differently it opened my eyes really how great these people were and how they didn't have that much like they had the art classes but you know they were on once a week and i just thought oh you know they'd really love the art, the opportunity to do more art and just sort of like you know, have the right out there really. So that's really where all my inspiration got driven from. The business is going through its pilot workshops, gaining feedback to make final changes before the doors are officially open. Even participants with full vision can see the benefits. It was nice to be able to just focus on touch instead of, you know, trying to take in everything that's going on around you, which is quite different. And it's really important to consider other people who haven't got sight and aren't able to do what everyone else can do. Not only does Sensory consider the needs of the blind, but also the community it's in. Cobden Chambers, a new courtyard of independent stores, welcomes the business and what it will bring to their doors. I think it would be nice to kind of have a space that's a little bit more active and that there's a bit more kind of workshops and things going on. Um, and I mean, I personally work with a lot of different kind of um, social enterprises and stuff. Um, so it's nice to have a bit more active community engagement. With the opening fast approaching, hopefully the new workshop will allow the blind to express their true colours. Alana Campbell, CBJ News.